What's up, people? This is Joey Sasso, and I'm over here kicking at iHeartRadio. What we're about to do is play a little game called Picture It Didn't Happen, which means I'm going to go through my phone, scroll up, stop on an image at random, and let's hope it's nothing inappropriate because <laughs> I have a feeling people, like, you know, people are going to be seeing this. But we're going to see what happens, and we're going to picture it didn't happen. It's a game. Games are fun. Relax over there. Scrolling, not looking. Oh, well, this is a very interesting photo, and it's a fun fact about me. Let me turn up the brightness on this guy so you guys can see it. So, what this is right here is a still image from my upcoming film, Young Lion of the West. And that's actually a very weird thing because you guys don't really know that I'm an actor, but I'm an actor. If this was my profile picture on the circle, probably wouldn't be good because I'm sitting there like a douche. Holding a cigarette and just looking angry like you probably imagined me to look if like you didn't know me my, or my personality. But yeah, I feel if I had... Oh, and there's a gun being pointed at me. It's a film, kids. It's not real. What I'm saying is, wouldn't be the best profile pic, but I like the douchiness of it. That's the truth. Oh, this is a good one. You ready for this one, kids? It's my measurement sizes that I took for my sister's wedding. So if this was my status update, I'd have to be a little zingy about it and be like, look, if you really want to know a guy, you got to know what size my waist is, if you know what I mean. What's my jacket size? Because I like a nice, snug fit. And people be sitting there going, this kid's an idiot. What the hell's the matter with him? And I would think I'm being witty and funny, and I wouldn't be. But I could take something like this and try to make it interesting. Because at the end of the day, who really cares what my size measurements are? I don't think you do. But I hope you would, because I'm insecure about those things. Can I say it like it is? Moving on. God. Okay. <laughs> well, kids, this will be interesting here. This is another photo from my upcoming film, Young Lion in the West. And yes, once again, I'm sitting there smoking a cigarette, going over my lines, because my character did that. And if I had to text this to Shubes and Sam, I'd have to preface it with, okay, I know you guys love me and you support me. What I'm about to tell you is a little weird. I'm getting a tattoo of me smoking a cigarette of my face on me. And I know how Shubes would be. Shubes would say, buddy, if it, if it makes you happy, then you know, you, you do it. And then Sammy would have uh, R-rated language pointed at me of, are you kidding me? But it, a lot more filthy than that. But it's all out of love because we all have each other's backs and we both represent both sides of the coin. That's what real friendship is all about. If you would let me get a picture of myself tattooed on myself, you're not my friend. You're an idiot. I want you to tell me, Joey, you're nuts. Why would you do that? I wouldn't do it, but it, under these circumstances, I would. You get the point. Point is, I got good friends. Don't be jealous. Oh, God. I swear this is not on purpose. We must be when I was in production on my film. This is a nice behind the scenes look at a different kind of Joey that you've never seen before. I played a drug addict. So here we go, I'm all drugged out. I'm wearing a big overcoat. I look miserable. I look like I'm sleeping in Central Park for the last six and a half weeks without a shower or brushing my teeth. And this kind of does show my experience in the circle because if you look at it, I look miserable. I look tired, I look just like I haven't slept in a bed in like two and a half months. I look mentally drained. And when I look at this picture, I think to myself, beginning of the circle, I felt good. End of the circle, get me out of here. I'm losing my mind. I haven't seen people in weeks. I haven't smelled fresh air. My brain, it hurts. We all felt this way. So this actually kind of does sum up my experience in the circle. Joey cracked out, exhausted. I need a shower and to brush my teeth. Okay, this is big. No, oh, this is so happy. If you know anything about me, I'm a die-hard Eminem fan. So what would be interesting about one of my favorite albums, The Eminem Show, is to talk to my boy Marshall. Yes, again, Marshall, we're on that basis. Or I'll call him Slim. And say, Marsh, listen, bro. I want you to write a song about The Eminem Show, but do it for me in a way that's different than anything you've done before. Not only is it one of his best albums of all time, but to sit there and talk to my boy in the booth and go, yo, we're gonna scrap everything you just did and we're gonna do a song all about one of your best albums, but I'm gonna like oversee this and I want you to say specific things like, remember cleaning out my closet? He goes, where's my snare? 
I have to do a shout out in the beginning, like, shout out to my boy J Money Sass. If I was a rapper, my name would be J Money Sass. Can I rap? No. But if I did, J Money Sass. What it? Some things really do cut too deep. Oh God, fuck me. This actually is the most perfect picture to sum this up. And I wanna say, for all you kids watching this, none of this has been staged, but it's all worked out perfectly. Tell me this doesn't sum up Garfunkel and me. Hold on, hold on. Positive thinking. It's a brain inside of a brain saying we're gonna stay positive. Let's see. Determined, energetic, happy, humble, strong, peaceful. Truthfully, I never sell out any of my boys. Garfunkel was very negative. He went through a lot of things in his life. He confided in me. I would tell him, you're better than this. We're gonna get out of here together, buddy. But he was always dark and he would say weird things to me. I'm not gonna repeat that because that was just between us. But we went through something together. It was like, you know, Andy Dufresne and Morgan Freeman and Shawshank. You, you just get that bond when you're locked behind bars. But then when it was time for me to break free, I had to look him in his beautiful face and say, buddy, I don't want to. But we gotta part ways. He started crying. I started crying. He hit me. I apologized for it. I felt terrible. Garfunkel, I know you're out there. I love you and I miss you. You stay classy, San Diego. So for any of you kids at home who say, who the hell is Garfunkel, Joey? What the hell's the matter with you? Let me give you a little rundown, okay? Day one in the circle, we get a box of supplies. Who doesn't like a box of supplies, right? Inside I find a thing full of Play-Doh. I immediately get angry and go, I'm a grown man, I don't play with Play-Doh. It took about two and a half to three hours I was playing with Play-Doh and I was having a great time. I morphed all the Play-Doh together into a ball. And then from there, it was like I just, it happened on its own. I looked down and there was a face. He spoke to me and he said, hi Jojo, my name's Garfunkel. Do you wanna be friends? I said, yes, yes I do Garfunkel. And the way I always sum it up is if you ever seen a little cinematic masterpiece called Castaway, I was Tom Hanks and he was Wilson. We had that relationship. That's why I'm gonna talk about all the negative things he talked about. It's gotta stay between us because truly, I tried getting him a therapist, he wasn't having it. So I ended up becoming like that defunto therapist friend guy. And through that entire experience, the thing that bothers me when I tell people about Garfunkel is they talk about him like he's not real. He's a man. He's got a beating heart. Cause he's made from Play-Doh, he can't be real. Have you seen Toy Story? The toys are alive. Are we gonna argue on that? He's real. So, as you guys just seen, got a little insight into some photos on my phone. Thank God there was nothing bad on there because that would have been a little, you know, uncomfortable. But, please do me a favor, go on to Netflix and watch The Circle, if for nothing else, to just say, yo, Jojo, I wanna watch it, kid, you're loud and stupid. I love you." And be sure to follow me on Instagram, at Joey Sasso. Slide into those DMs, baby, they are always open. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.